Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I really appreciate you coming by. In today's video, I'm gonna explain how I put this Sevilor motor mount onto this Intex Seahawk 4. In our last video, we actually took the Seahawk out with no motor, no modifications or anything on a camp and fish and tried it out. If you wanna see that video, there'll be a link at the end of this one. So the reason I'm making this video is there are a number of Intex boat videos out there with all kinds of modifications and I didn't see one of them say that you could put the Sevilor onto the Intex boats um, and I'm presuming that uh, it will work for all of the Intex boats since Intex only has the one motor mount that seems to do all of their boats. I'll leave a link down in the description for that one if you want to have a look. And so the reason we have a Sevilor motor mount is because my brother and sister-in-law actually donated a Sevilor boat to the channel to Joanna and I so that we could take out use on some adventures and make some videos. It was the Fish Hunter 325. Unfortunately, it turned out that the boat was kind of unusable, but I did keep the motor mount. So Dave and Erica, thank you very much. So on the back of the boat, you'll see these loops here. That's where the motor mount actually connects to. So if we measure these holes from center to center, they're right about 13 inches and three quarters. So we're just gonna flip this over. And then we're gonna measure in between these two poles here. You'll see that it's just about 13 and a half inches. So to recap, the motor mounts on the back of the boat were 13 and three quarter inches. So in a lot of my projects, I have a saying for that, close enough. Something that's important to note is that this bar here is held on here to the board. There's a wing nut at the back and the hook here. So you can see that this hook here can either face inwards or outwards. And it's important that all hooks are facing out. If they're not facing out, this is not going to fit. Okay, so I'll show you how this works. So there it is, it's mounted on. And the cool thing about this Sevilor one is that these bars go out. So you can swing them either way here and go as far as you want here. And so this is actually gonna plug into here like it was made for it. And you'll see that this doesn't pop out that easy either. You gotta use a little bit of force to get that out of there, uh, which means that's gonna stay in there nicely when you're traveling. So just looking at the side view here, you can see the board even fits nicely right on top of this loop here. And so it can't slide down at all. So one potential problem you might've noticed is this down here hitting the boat here. And then when you have the weight of the motor pressing down, I feel like that has potential to wear this part of the boat here. I had this old leather work glove. I only have one of them. And so what I did is I chopped off the fingers here and now it's a rock and roll glove. But really what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna slide this on here like this to stop it from rubbing here. And the pressure, especially once the motor's on, this doesn't come off easy. So if I do that on each side, problem solved. Maybe I'll come up with a better solution for it after, but for right now, I think this is a great solution. So there it is, the Sevilor motor mount on an Intex boat. And uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure this will work on other Intex boats too, because Intex seems to have one motor mount uh, for all of their boats. But yeah, it fits really good, almost like it was made for it. I also wanted to put the motor on here just so you guys can see that it supports it really well. I'll show you the bottom right away. This motor was actually donated to me by my brother and sister-in-law and my brother's company, uh, Rustic Repair. And uh, it's an auto body company, does a lot of rust repair on vehicles and stuff in the East Selkirk area of St. Clements. And he services Winnipeg and all the surrounding area as well. Uh, Rustic Repair can be found on uh, Facebook. Thanks a lot, Rob and Joy, I really appreciate it. It'll get lots of use. And you can see that the motor reaches under the boat very well and will have no problem reaching the water. And uh, really this motor mount for these would be pretty easy to build out of PVC pipes. I saw some videos uh, and that's actually one of the routes I was thinking about going. Turned out this worked out really good. So uh, that's awesome. I really appreciate you coming by. I hope you got something out of this video and uh, check out some of my other videos, kind of adventure videos. That's what this boat's gonna be about to add to that. And uh, remember the most important thing, folks, take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next video.